Let us try to determine which one is a bigger number, 3 to the power pi or pi to the power 3. So we will use calculator. So if we use calculator, then it, you find that 3 to the power pi equal to 31.544. That's accurate up to three decimal places. And approximately, what about pi cube? Pi cube equal to again 31.006 again approximately so we can say it clearly that 3 to the power pi is greater than pi cube but we are not supposed to use calculator we are not supposed to use calculator but we can use calculus <laughs> So, what about calculus then? Well, observe that this power is simply an exponent. Exponent. That reminds us about exponential function. And when we try to use exponential, somewhere if we have to reverse it. So, logarithm function. We know that e to the power log of x is simply equal to x. Let's apply that here. e to the power log of 3 to the power pi is simply equal to 3 to the power pi. So this is okay. What about other way? e to the power log of pi cube is simply equal to pi cube. That's also okay. So far so good. We replace 3 to the power pi divided sorry we replace 3 to the power pi by e to the power log of 3 to the power pi of course log with base e and pi cube by e to the power log of pi cube because we know this identity now we know that powers can be taken out of the logarithm powers can be taken out of logarithm since those two numbers are equal this inequality is true if this is true Further, again powers can be taken out of the logarithm. So this can be written as e to the power pi times log of 3 is greater than e to the power 3 times log of pi. If this is true, then I can say that 3 to the power pi is greater than pi cube. Okay, now we got the same base, but still we need to go a lot. We know that 2 to the power 10 is greater than 2 to the power 8. 2 to the power 8 is greater than 2 to the power 5. 2 to the power 5 is greater than 2 to the power 1. What are we saying is that if we take higher power, then the number that we get is also bigger. That is true even if for base e, e to the power 10 is greater than e to the power 8. e to the power 8 is greater than e to the power 4 e to the power 4 is greater than e to the power 1. So as long as we take the power to be greater, the number is that we get will be bigger. There is a, another way of saying it. fx equal to e to the power x is a strictly monotonically increasing function. So by that what, what I mean is that e to the power x is greater than e to the power y whenever x is greater than y. Let's prove it. We'll apply calculus as we said earlier. We are not allowed to use calculator but definitely calculus is allowed. fx equal to e to the power x that imply f dash x derivative of fx derivative of e to the power x that's simply equal to e to the power x and which is greater than zero if the derivative of a function is greater than zero then we can conclude that fx equal to e to the power x is a monotonically increasing function so we conclude that fx equal to e to the power x is a strictly monotonically increasing function. So if I have 
higher power then the number that we will we'll get will also be higher. So it is sufficient to show that so it is sufficient to show that pi log 3 is greater than 3 log pi. It is sufficient to show that pi log 3 is greater than 3 log pi which is true if pi log 3 minus 3 log pi is greater than 0. Well, that is also not easy. But we can define another function gx let gx equal to just replace pi by x. So, x log 3 minus 3 log x. We are just replacing uh, pi by x. Now, we will try to find when is it that g is monotonically increasing. As we said earlier, this is basically a problem in calculus. So, we will use calculus once again. In order to decide monotonicity of g, as we did in case of f, we just need to find derivative of g x. So, g dash x, derivative of x is 1, log of 3 with base c, that is a constant, minus 3 times derivative of log x with respect to x is 1 by x. Of course, x greater than 0. This function is monotonically increasing if g dash x is greater than 0. But g dash x is greater than 0 if log of 3 with base e minus 3 by x is greater than 0. That is if log of 3 with base e is greater than 3 by x or if we assume x to be greater than 0. So, we can multiply by positive quantity. Log of 3 with base e is also greater than 0. So, we can divide by log of 3 with base e. To say that this is true if x is greater than 3 by log of 3 with base e. Now, we have defined g x in such a way that uh, g of pi, we just want to show g of pi is greater than 0. And what about g of 3? g of 3 is 0. So, r is 3 greater than log of uh, 3 with base e? Yes, since log of 3 with base e is greater than 1. Are you convinced? Since uh, again log is increasing function for x greater than e. If you take uh, uh, once again, uh, hx equal to log of x, then h dash x is 1 by x, which is greater than 0. So, log is monotonically increasing. Since log of 3 with base e is greater than log of e with base e, that is 1. So, we conclude that 3 is greater than 3 by log of 3 with base e. Yes, this we are divide if you are dividing by something which is greater than 1, you will get this quantity to be less than 1. So, definitely 3 is greater than and so does 3.14 or pi, pi comma 3 both are greater than uh, 3 by log of 3 with base e. Therefore, I can say that g of pi is greater than g of 3. Oh, g of 3. So, we can show that g is to be monotonically increasing for x uh, whenever, whenever x is greater than 3 by log of 3 with base e and 3 and pi both are greater than 3 by log of 3 with base e. Therefore, g of pi must be greater than g of e. Okay, that is fine. Now, how much is g of pi? You see, we are defining g x to be equal to 
x log 3 minus 3 log x. So, instead of x, I should write pi. Pi log 3 minus 3 log pi with base e is greater than g of 3. How much is g of 3? Replace x by 3. 3 log 3 minus 3 log 3. Oh, that is 0. So, we conclude that pi log of 3 with base e is greater than 3 times log of pi with base e and we are done. So, if you are not convinced that we are done, you can write this as log of 3 to the power pi with base e is greater than log of pi to the power 3 with base e. Uh, see, this is correct because powers can be taken out of the logarithm, powers can be taken out of logarithm. So, these two are equal. Now, if x is greater than y, since exponentials are monotonically increasing, we can say that e to the power x is greater than e to the power y. Further, we know that e to the power log of x is simply equal to x as long as x is greater than 0. Definitely 3 to the power pi is greater than 0. So, 3 to the power pi is greater than pi cube. e to the power log of x is simply equal to x. Here also e to the power log of x is simply equal to x and we are done.